Hello guys, today this is a video on me solving some IGCSE questions involving coordinates. Every question that's involving coordinates, yeah, I'm just going to try to solve three uh, questions. Uh, IGCSE questions that's based on the board at Excel involving coordinates. So these are three questions, some complex questions that are worth a lot of marks that I would like you guys to cover and just watch and understand. And hope so this video helps you guys in understanding this question. So. Uh, let's get straight to the point right so a b c d is a kite with a b is equal to a d and c b is equal to c d b is the point with the coordinates 10 comma 19 d is the point with the coordinates 2 comma 7 find an equation of the line a c give your answer in the form of p y plus q x is equal to r okay they have clearly stated that a b c d is a kite so immediately you have to just draw a kite of a b C D and the rules of a kite you should be knowing that these two sides are equal as well as these two sides below so technically stating let's just draw this diagram better so that we understand the, the graphical representation so you draw a kite call it A B C D and you draw some two lines remember that the angles here are perpendicular to each other so A B is equal to A D and B C is equal to DC as well. So given that B is the point with the coordinates, so we know that this line here is given to us as BD, and we know that B is a point with coordinates 10, 19, and D is a point with the coordinates of 2, 7. And we know that find an equation of the line AC. Now, in order to find out the line AC, we can use the rule of perpendicular equations. And uh, we can either do this by finding out the values, okay? So, in order to find out what the values are, you have to find out maybe the midpoint as well. Actually, you don't need to find out the midpoint. You just need to find out the gradient. You can use the rule for gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. We're just going to label this as x1 comma y1, and this is x2 comma y2. So m is equal to y2, in this case it's 7, minus y1, that is 19, divided by x2, that is 2, minus x1, that is given to us as 10. The gradient should be giving you as 1.5. So the gradient is 1.5. So remember that the line AC is directly perpendicular to BD, right? The perpendicular equation, so this is 90 degrees. So this symbol just represents perpendicular, all right? So that's it. Once you have found that, you have to find out the equation for line BD. You have to find the equation for this line BD, for line BD. So y equals mx plus c. You know that m is a gradient, c is a y-intercept. We have found out that 1.5. You just put in a calculator to get it in the form of fractions. That's 3 by 2. So 3 by 2 x plus c. And uh, we can use any coordinates. So in this case, I'm just going to use 2 by 7 because it's given in the question itself. So 2 by 7, put them in the form of x, y coordinates. And just put 7 is equal to 3 by 2, x is 2 plus c. Solve this equation, and you should be getting c is equal to b, and giving you as 4. Put that c there in this equation that you have found. So y is equal to 3 by 2, x plus 4. This is the equation for the line BD, for line BD. Now we know that uh, since AC and BD are perpendicular, we know that uh, the gradient, perpendicular equations, they have the opposite reciprocal slopes. So since the gradient is two, 3 by 2, we're going to create the opposite of it, that's 2 by 3, and put a negative sign, because perpendicular equations have opposite reciprocal slopes. Using the same equation y equals mx plus c, you're just going to do y is equal to minus 2 by 3x plus c. And now we have to put a coordinate. Now, since there is no coordinate on the line AC, this is where we have to find out the midpoint of the line BD. Because we have to find out the line AC and we just need any random coordinate. So, based on the line BD, the rules for finding out midpoint is equal to x1 plus x2 divided by 2 comma y1 plus y2 divided by 2 so you put that in the equation the x1 here is 10 plus x2 is 2 divided by 2 comma y1 that is 19 in your question 
y2 that's 7 divided by 2 this should give you your midpoint as 6 by 13 now we can use this midpoint and connect it with the equation that we're finding for the line AC and we can use this as x comma y and 13 is equal to minus 2 by 3 brackets 6 plus c solve this algebraic equation to get c's value as 17 now all you need to do is just put that in equation form as y is equal to minus 2 by 3 x plus 17 i'm just putting it the value of c in this equation and that is here now all you need to do now final step is to rearrange this in the form of y plus qx so you, all you need to do is just make this all into integers so just multiply everything by 3 to get you 3y uh, just rearrange actually what you're going to do is first rearrange the equation of y plus 2 by 3x plus 17 and then multiply this whole thing by 3 because they clearly stated that pqr are integers right so multiply by 3 and you will be getting 3y plus 2x right uh, sorry guys, this should be an equal symbol because we don't want 17 on the other side as well Is equal to 51. We did 17 times 3, 2 by 3 times 3, and y times 3 To get our final equation to be 3y plus 2 This is your answer for 5 marks and you get it correct, okay? Alright, let's move on to the next question. It's a straight line L Line 1 Has equation 2y is equal to x so, uh, 6x minus 5 the straight line like uh, line 2 l2 is perpendicular to l1 and passes through the point 9 comma minus 1 now find the equation for l2 this is a simple question using the same concept and using the same formula y equals mx plus c where m represents the gradient c represents the y intercept all right so what are you going to do is we have to find the equation for line l2 we know that l2 is perpendicular to l1 so that means these should have a opposite reciprocal slopes so 2y rearranging this in the form of y equals mx plus c we should be getting as y is equal to 3x minus 5 by 2 this is because 2 is divided by each value here so that should give us indirectly 3x minus 5 by 2 we know that the gradient is 3 then line 2's gradient should be opposite reciprocal slopes so 3 by 1 that is 1 by 3 and it's opposite sign okay remember the keyword opposite reciprocal slopes opposite reciprocal slopes okay now uh, your next question now uh, okay we're going to use the same equation minus 1 by 3x plus c and we're given the points 9 comma minus 1 we're going to just put this in the equation minus 1 is equal to minus 1 by 3 to 9 plus c solve this equation and you should be getting c is equal to 2 that should be your and uh, your should be your c value and input this back into the equation y is equal to minus 3 by x plus 2 this should be your final answer are they asking us to rearrange in any form yes they are asking us to rearrange in a form so we have y plus 3x is equal to 2 this is now your final answer for four marks this is important that sometimes they ask in rearranging so you just keep in mind of that so you have y plus 1 by 3 x is equal to 2. That's a fairly simple question using opposite reciprocal slopes and the equation y equals mx plus c. All right, let's move on to the next question. Now, this is a bit of a complex question because they're saying that the equation of the line is y equals minus x plus uh, y is equals to 9 minus x, and the equation of the curve c, they're giving you a curve, is x squared minus 3xy plus 2y squared is equals 0. The line c and uh, the line l and C intersected two points. Find the coordinates of these two points. Now we have to show clear algebraic working. Now we're just gonna use the same formula again. This is for five marks. We know that Y is equal to MX plus C, where M represents the gradient. You guys all know that. And C represents the Y intercept. Now, what you need to do is you need to, we know the equation of Y is equal to 9 minus 9 minus x and now we're just going to do for curve c we're just going to rearrange this line because we have to fix it fix it up so x squared minus 3x squared plus 2y squared is equal to 0 so now what we're going to do is you're going to rearrange this equation in the form of 9 minus x so we know since they intersected two points they must be equivalent to each other so we're already given the value of y is equal to minus 
9 minus x. So we have to find the coordinates of the two points these lines intersect. So technically, they are technically equal to each other. So we have x squared minus 3 in the value of 3x. And we're given phi's value as 9 minus x plus 2. Phi's value, again, is given to us 9 minus uh, x. This is the intersection point. Intersection point. 9 minus x squared is equal to 0. Now, rearranging this equation, opening the double brackets, this is a concept that you need to understand. So that is x squared minus 21, 27 square uh, x plus 3x squared plus 2. Open the brackets of these two equations. This would be opening up as 9 minus x as 9 minus x. This should be giving you as two brackets 81 minus 18x plus x2. Once you rearrange this equation, you should be getting your final answer to be as x squared minus 63x. I'm just removing some steps to just, just quickly try to solve this question. So you should be knowing rearranging at your point and how to rearrange factor polynomials as well and how to rearrange and simplify equations. So you should be getting a 6x squared minus 63x plus 162 is equal to 0. Now we have to simplify this because everybody likes a simplified version. So divide by 3 you should be getting your values as 2. Divide all of this by 3, by 3, all of this by 3. Uh, divide by 3 and you should be getting your value as 2x squared minus 21x plus 54 is equal to 0. Now we have to complete this and find the values for x. Completing the square, you can either do that. We have to find two values that either uh, they multiply to give us 108 and two values that add to give us minus 21. These two values are minus 12 and minus 9. Since minus 12 times minus 9 is equal to 108, and minus 12 plus minus 9 is equal to minus 21. Okay, so these are two numbers that we can use here. And since we know that, we can group these together so in a group, a group form where 2x squared, 2x squared, we can do 2x squared minus 12x minus 9x. Remember that minus 12, minus 12 plus minus 9 is equal to minus 3. Uh, just like in your equation. Actually, sorry guys. We have minus 12 minus 9. That is minus 21. So minus 12 minus 9 is technically equivalent to this grade to minus 21. So uh, based on that, you can look at that. And plus 54, we're just connecting with this equation is equal to that. Now group these two terms together. You should have uh, something about uh, maybe group all of them together. And you have 2x brackets x minus 6 minus 9 x minus 6 is equal to 0. I'm just connecting this here. It's just no, not much space. And you have x minus 6 brackets 2x minus 9 is equal to 0, x minus 6 is equal to 0, that's x equals 6, 2x minus 9 is equal to 0, x should be giving you as 4.5. Now we have found the value of x, we have found the value of y. Now going back to the question, we're given that the equation of line L is 9 minus x. You're going to use that equation again, y is equal to 9 minus x. And your 4, you're going to write there 4x equals 6. That is going to be y is equal to 9 minus 6. That's going to be 3. And 4x equals 4.5. You want to say y is equal to 9 minus 4.5. 9 minus 4.5. That should give you approximately, again, 4.5. And your final answer, I'm just going to write it here. There's, a, there's no space there. So the final answer. The final answer is going to be is going to be in terms of coordinates. So six comma three. That's based on this equation here. Six comma three, and the coordinates is going to be given here as well. Sorry guys. Uh, coordinates is going to be given here. X is and four point five comma four point five. You can leave it as a decimal. This is your final answer. Brackets six comma three, and brackets four point five comma four point five. That is your final answer for a total of five marks. There are five marks that you can score in this question, and this answer is correct. So I think that's the that's it. For, I think for solving some complex questions related to related with coordinates. 
and I, I hope so you guys enjoyed this video please do like share and subscribe this, it helps the channel a lot and uh, new content will be posted soon and please do comment below if you want yeah uh, you want me to solve like continue solving the past paper questions or questions on certain topics do comment below and do subscribe to this channel and share this share this video with others as well you can help them as well otherwise i think that's it otherwise just uh